So this is question 22 of the past paper I've been going through. I will leave it linked below and it should also be part of a playlist on my channel. Now we need to work out 0.68 recurring minus 0.5 recurring and we need to give it as a fraction in its simplest form. So I think the best thing to do is work out the answer when we subtract these recurring decimals and then we convert it into a fraction afterwards given it in its simplest form. So 0.68 recurring minus 0.45 recurring. If you don't know 0.68 recurring with that dot just means 0.6888 and so on. And then the 0.45 recurring means 0.4555 so on and so on pretty much forever. So we can write it as 0.68 obviously recurring minus 0.45 recurring so it goes on forever and then we're going to subtract it from here. So this is going to be equal to 0.2333 recurrent and that's because we have the zeros first before the decimal point. So that's just going to be 0 minus 0. Then we have the 6 and the 4. So 6 minus 4 is obviously 2. That's how we get the 2. And then we have 8888 and 5555. 8 minus 5 is 3. We obviously have that going on for eternity. So that's why we're going to be left with 0.2333 recurrent. So now we have the answer. We're going to turn it into a fraction. So we're going to do this by letting x equal our answer. So x is equal to 0.2333. And by doing this, we get 10x is equal to 2.3333. And then from there, we can do 10x minus x. We know that's going to be equal to 9x. And that 9x is going to be equal to 10x minus x. And we know 10x and we know what x is. So that's 2.3333 minus 0.2333. And then from there, as it's perfectly aligned, we can see that the threes will cancel out. So that's going to leave us with 2.3 minus 0.2. So 9x is going to be equal to 2.1. Now we just need to rearrange to get x as that's our answer. And it's going to be in a fraction form. Hopefully that made sense what I did. If it didn't leave any comments or questions below, we just labeled our answer as X and we did some rearranging to try and get it in a fraction form. Okay, so we're gonna carry on. 9X is equal to 2.1. Let's divide both sides by nine, so it will be in a fraction. So X is equal to 2.1 over nine. Then we can just times top and bottom by 10 because we don't want that decimal. We wanna get it in a fraction in its simplest form. So X is 21 over 90 because of that. We can quite easily see that they can be divided by three. So we divide top and bottom by three. That's because like we did with the 10, we can do the same function to the top and bottom of a fraction and it remains the same value. And then X is going to be equal to seven over 30. And that's our final answer because it can't be simplified anymore. Now, I hope that made sense. And again, if you don't have any questions or anything, you know, leave them down below. Best of luck with your maths and thanks for watching.